Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well out there. I am back with a highly requested video. And if you don't know who I am, Dan C. Bearded, as you saw on the channel title there. In this video today, I'm gonna cover the company called Wild Willies. And I have two different shiny products from them. Uh, the first one is going to be their two ounce beard oil that you can find online. You can find it at Walmart, and I'm sure there's several other stores out there. And that is for just under $10. So $5 an ounce for a beard oil here. We'll talk about about that and then the one that's probably been the most brought up and mentioned to me and this is their hemp beard elixir or the hemp hemp seed beard oil and we'll go over all of these this is a one ounce for $15 which puts it smack dab at the market average for the small batch companies that we love to cover and talk about on this channel so it's gonna have some heavy competition and we'll see how they stack up and guys I've been trying to do more of these drugstore videos and I've even highly recommended many of them uh, recently I did Goodfellows out of Target love that one of course Honest Amish that you can find in most stores love that one I love the white line of beard brand that you can find in stores so there are some really good options that you can pick up near you and I've been hearing a lot about them I'm gonna tell you guys if I feel like they fit right in that group or not Let's start out with a little bit of information about the Wild Willies brand. And I do have to say, I don't have a lot. Usually I have some good resources and spots I can go to to find information. I could not find a lot on this company. I do know they are out of Georgia, and I do know that we have some wording on here that will explain some of it. On their labeling, it says in here, made in the USA for Wild Willies brand LLC. So what that means is somebody is making the product for them and then they are distributing it, they are making the packaging. There's different levels to what that could mean and I don't know the level to that, right? Some people would call that private labeling or drop shipping and I'm not against that. There are varying levels to how involved a company can be and I don't know, so I cannot give an opinion on if that is good, if that is bad. But the only thing I could really find about the company outside of that is that there is another name associated with them, and that is the Manscape Co. Now it's not the Manscaped trimmers that we see the advertisements for and it's all over the place. This is something different. Their Facebook is associated with it. Now I don't know if that is their parent company or it's an advertising firm, but there is something there and a lot of people have asked me, is Willie Robertson the owner? I do not think the Duck Dynasty Willie, Wild Willies, is involved with this company other than some advertisements. It looks like he has some advertisements. I believe that he was hired for those ones, but again, I do not know. Wild Wild Willies or any representatives, if you're watching and want to clear up any of that or give us more information, please drop a comment down below. Or any of you commenters, if you know stuff about this company that you can add to this discussion, I would love to learn. And I know a lot of other people are curious too, so drop that on there. Now, one thing when we're talking about advertising, I am not a fan of their advertising method. And I'll show you a couple examples that I have in my hand. And this is just personal preference here. Now, when I show you this bottle here, or this box for the label you got a guy he's got sunglasses on he's got an axe right that's kind of getting that hey you put in beard oil you're gonna be a man this is what men do rough tumble and then another one here that just kind of adds to that i was like okay this one's cool this one doesn't have any of that and this you open it up here and it says man up and again, for me, I, I want to just be a man that takes care of my beard. I don't need to be a lumberjack. I don't need to get chicks on a motorcycle. Not that they have done that, but there are other companies that we see do that out there. And I would rather have them just focus on the product rather than any kind of like lifestyle that goes with it. But again, that's just me. So let's start out with the first one here. And this is the premium beard grooming beard oil. So nice box, got the shiny there, got all the information that you need to know. Now we open it up. This is a two ounce oil, couple of things. This is plastic here and it does have a pump top. Now I am not strongly against either of those. I do not prefer the pump top. I also do not prefer plastic bottle, but I'm not somebody that's like, hey, it's a pump top, it's dead to me, or you can't use plastic. I think plastic can be done when it's done right for products. 
just not preferred for me. So let me read you the ingredients here real quick, or the carriers, and then they get into some different ones after that. We have grapeseed oil, we have apricot kernel oil, we have castor oil, jojoba oil, rosemary oil, and then it gets into some different kind of like fruits and different things that are in here, tea tree oil, vitamin E, but the main ones that are really gonna stick out to me, I'll, I'll tell you after I show you this oil. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you guys here, see if I can get to focus. It's got the pump, and the pump is kind of inconsistent for me. Usually I can get like one good one, and then it kind of sputters, and then a good one. So I'll give it to you guys here to show you. Okay, see the, of course it's going to work perfectly now. <laughs> and let me show you the viscosity here. This is a surprisingly thick oil, but the thing that stands out to me is not how thick it is, but it's very sticky, and sticky in a couple of ways, right? If I put this here between my fingers, I get some of that stickiness. But it's also sticky where it sticks around. Now I got a little napkin here. I'm going to take it off my hand completely with a dry napkin. And the thing that stood out to me the most when I first applied this to my beard is, okay, wow, it's sticky. All right, there's, there's some thickness to it. Put it in my beard. Had some left over in my hand, which is not uncommon. Put it on my elbows where I usually put all my oil and butters and stuff. I'm like, man, it's still on my hands. Then I put it on my sides where I get really dry skin and it was still on my hands. I took a towel. I could not get it away. It was almost like there was a film left on my hand from this product. And I wasn't even thinking about my beard because I was so concerned. I'm like, okay, let me get back to the beard. This is for a review. I was combing it through and it just felt like it was not going to absorb into my hair or into my skin. And I am not a fan of that. I want my beard and my skin to absorb the oils like they're supposed to. I don't want my beard glistening and shining in the sun. And some of you may. This is just my preference here. And I was not a fan of this feel. Uh, the smell is kind of neutral. Kind of, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with this at all. But man, oh man, I did not like this feel. I only wore it once because I disliked it so much. Now, when I do a review, I always wear it six, seven, eight times if I like it even more than that. And some products I've had around for, I just recently did a review that I had an oil for a year and a half. So you can imagine how many times I wore that. This one I only wore once. If I use it less than what I do normally, I will tell you guys. And I... I just couldn't do it again. I did not like the feel on my hands. I have that same feel right now. I did not like the feel on my beard. It just did not work for me at all. So when you see a deal like $10 for two ounces, you're like, oh my gosh, $5 an ounce. That is amazing. But is it a deal if you don't use it or like it? Something to think about there, but okay, all right. That's not the one that I had been highly recommended or highly asked about. It was actually this one. And this is, you open this box up here got a paper in here it's got a code for a discount some advertising with a jeep and some kits and stuff in here and when i was looking online at this company they have everything they have a beard growth serum which i didn't look into it enough i haven't personally tried it so i'm not going to give my full take on that but i will say most of the time when i'm looking at a beard growth serum that is not a drug minoxidil or some other classifications usually it's more marketing than results but i've not tried theirs i've not looked at them they have beard growth supplements they have uh beard oh yeah it was beard boost that they had over there they've got all sorts of products they had a straightener that i saw online just everywhere so this bottle is the one that is one ounces for one ounce for fifteen dollars hemp beard elixir aka hemp seed oil now this looks more like our traditional bottle it's got the frosted glass which i love frosted glass is probably my favorite it's got the dropper top which i'm good with i like a restrictor cap or an orifice reducer a little bit more or a euro stopper but i will take a a uh, normal dropper top here and let me show you the consistency and the color here good color good body to it now let me hit you with the ingredients and again guys market average for small batch here ingredients we have grapeseed oil organic hemp seed oil organic virgin argan oil and golden jojoba oil plus natural fragrance okay all of those are good. Nothing crazy, but some of my favorites in there. Uh, hemp seed oil is one of my favorite carriers. I think it is a miracle product and can do some amazing things. And all the rest are wonderful. Now the scent here, which is really important, is going to be a wild vanilla spice. Now this would lead me to a question to Wild Willis if they're watching. It says natural fragrances. Now to my understanding, and please correct me if I'm wrong, I do not know 100% sure on this, but on my mind and my understanding, 
there is not a natural vanilla essential oil. That is something that you have an extract in cooking, but I'm not aware of it as being a natural oil or a natural fragrance that we can add here. So maybe they're using other scents to mimic the vanilla and then putting the spices in there to kind of bring it all together. But I'll start with this scent here. I also only wore this oil once. And again, people are gonna be in the comments, well, how can you say these things you only wore it once? Because I enjoy beard products, I was not going to put myself wearing, put myself through wearing these twice or more than that because I just enjoy my beard and my days too much. Uh, so people can say, hey, he only wore it this many. That's fine. I'm being completely transparent and telling you guys my experiences here. The scent is why I could not wear this again. I am not a fan of spice. From the beginning of the channel, the middle of the channel, till now, I do not like clove. I do not like cinnamon. I do not like anything that is in that family. It irritates my skin and it irritates my nose. And Sam isn't even a big fan of it unless it's around like the holiday season. So I do not like the scent here. Now, the viscosity and consistency of this one is a straight up medium. And I'm not going to put it on my hand because I don't want to smell like this right now. And this has a much better feel to it. It did absorb into my beard hairs. It did absorb into my skin. It didn't leave that film, by the way, that I still have on my hand right now. I can still feel it from the other one. It didn't leave any of that. It felt really good. It was fine. There was nothing bad about it. I would say that it was market average or maybe just a hair below. I wasn't like, oh, my beard's styling really well. But I was like, huh, I wore the other one first and I had really low expectations for this one and it beat it. I said, that's not bad. I do not have a problem with the feeling beard here. Now, at $15 a bottle, that's saying, is it just as good as these other ones that I would recommend to you guys? No, not even close. There are ones that blow it out of the water for $15 or less with scent, with feel, with advertising, with getting in contact with the company, with having information about the company, but it was not bad. And maybe if there was a different scent, I could give it an even longer evaluation and we could see where it was from there. Okay. I'm going to come back to you guys in two seconds with a conclusion, wrap it all up. And I sincerely hope to hear from you guys because I know a lot of you have used this product or you have wondered about it. Let's summarize here for a conclusion. First, admittedly, I do not know a lot about this company. Secondly, also admittedly, I did not extensively test these products. I wore each one of them once and I have no want to try them more. Now third, to wrap it up, I had a really bad experience with the two ounce beard oil. I would not recommend this to anybody if it was on a clearance rack for $2. That's just how I feel. I would not wear it. If it's $2, it's $2 you're wasting if you don't like the product. And on the other one, the hemp seed oil, I had a better experience, not a fan of, of scent, but we know scent is very subjective and different from person to person, but the feel was not bad, but I do not think it's worth anywhere near that $15. If it was in the store for five to seven, like some of those companies that we have seen out there that I recommend, like Honest Amish and Goodfellows or Everyman Jack, somewhere along those lines, I would recommend them, but I don't think it's worth anywhere near the price on here. So question to leave you guys with, Drop anything you have, thoughts for this company, this review, the products. Have you tried them? What did they feel like? What did they smell like? Do you know something that I do not know? I'm open to learn here on a company that I have been asked about for a very long time. And I am glad that I was able to try and get it in my head so I can answer your guys' questions and hopefully learn more from you guys out there. So thank you guys. Dan C. Bearded, stay bearded and stay positive.